TJ, what have you done this offseason to make yourself and the team better? I mean, I've just been working, man, working, working hard, um, getting myself in shape, being able to be, be more comfortable just being in South Florida, being, um, you know, just, just been around, been in the facility, and, um, uh, you know, just, just doing a little bit of everything, just um, making sure my, my diet is good, me personally, I can play at a high level, and I'm in good shape. How difficult was last year for you, uh, obviously a great training camp and a two-month layoff? I mean, it's tough. I mean, it's hard to try to integrate yourself back into full flow of a game after you've sat out for a while. But I'm glad that's all behind me, and um, you know, I'm going about my business as usual now. How do you see things working out? How do you see everything fitting between you and Rashad and Minka? I don't know yet. I don't know. I mean, it's only the second week of OTAs right now, so it's still early. Um, you know, we got some good players out there. Um, we have the best players on the field, and uh, we'll, we'll go from there. Does it feel like a good mix to you, or does it feel like some some duplication among the three of you as far as your skill sets? I, mean, I think that we can all do a lot of things. I mean, I think that it's a good mix, but like I said, it's still early. We haven't we haven't really done too much. Um, we're all just you know learning different positions. One thing we are doing is just just making sure we all can know both positions, both safety positions, and um, you know as we continue to progress through OTAs, you know more packages, more things will come in, and, and uh, you know, we'll, we'll grow as a group from there. Was there uh, any discussion you had after they drafted Minka with either Tony Oden or with Matt Burke about how that would affect you, your role? playing time, where specifically you would play? Uh, no, I mean, anything that we talked about, usually, you know, we keep in-house, but it was nothing like that, nothing nothing crazy. Um, like I said, uh, you know, you know, I, I control what I can control, and everything else, you know, take care of yourself from there. Um, I played a lot of ball. Um, Rashad's played a lot of ball. Mink is a great player. Um, you know, I think that we can all uh, make it work, wherever, wherever, however it works out, it all, it all take care of yourself. You probably, you probably heard speculation anyway that Oh, TJ McDonald might be moving the linebacker. Yeah. You heard that? What was your reaction when you heard that? And as long as I got a helmet on, it doesn't matter. I, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I, I hear all that. Um, you know, I've been a safety, um, and, and this whole time I've been in the league. Um, and uh, so I mean, that's all speculation. That's nothing, nothing. I didn't hear any of that from the coaches. Um, from, what I, from what I know, I'm playing safety, and I'm, I'm continuing to do that at a high level the best, best that I can. Could you do it? Does it feel like something that's just ludicrous to you, or does it feel like, yeah, I can? I, can transition line I, don't, I mean, I, as a competitor, I don't think you think anything is ludicrous. You know, as, I mean, as a competitor, um, you know, I'm a physical player, but also, like I said, I'm a safety. Um, so, however, however we got to put it, however we got to mess together, wherever we got to go, I'm just gonna go out there and make plays, control what I can control. They've, they've obviously ruled out you playing linebacker, but probably the door is open for you to just dime. Is that something you've done in the past? I mean, I've been in the box. Um, I think that that's rather you're at dime, rather you're you know, on the strong side, weak side. You know, sometimes it's like when you're playing in the box, you rotate strong, you rotate weak. Got to be able to be versatile and do it all. So, I mean, like I said, I feel like I can do a lot of things. Um, you know, playing deep, playing in the box, whatever the case may be. So, um, however it unfolds, um, I'm gonna try to uh, do my best to to help this team win. Yeah, from the how much has the NFL changed to where? You use a big combination of a lot of defensive backs in a, in a defensive set. I mean, it has. It has changed a lot. I mean, it's a passing league, um, and it, even in a league now where they spread you out, no matter how, how however they can, um, even if they're running the ball, um, it's not it's not you know it's the same style that it used to be. Um, so I mean, just to have faster bodies on the field is a good thing. But like you said, like like I said, we got a lot of good players on this defense. A lot of people that can that are versatile, that can move around um, at at um, all three levels. So. Um, um, you know, that's a good problem to have, I would say. How about because uh, the rule changes too from the time you entered the league till now? Like you're, you know, the big hitting safety is kind of uh, they're legislating against that. It seems like you gotta know what you're doing. I mean, I haven't taken one since I've been in the league. I mean, I've been like I've said, I've been the same style my entire career. Uh, I've been a physical player. I only know how to play the game one way, and uh, I've been fortunate enough to uh, not take any flags and. Just be able to play the game the right way. DJ, you play with Robert Quinn with with the Rams, obviously. So, can you tell me your reaction when you heard about the trade and what can he bring to the defense? I was excited, man. I mean, Robert is a game changer. I've watched him change games. Um, go out there and uh, I mean, he's gonna give it his all every time. He's a grinder. Um, I was excited about it. Uh, it was crazy seeing him and me, him and Will all together. Um, you know, sitting in the hot in the in the sauna and we're like, man, this is this is this kind of different. You know what I mean? But. Uh, I'm glad to have those guys, and uh, Rob is going to be a great addition. Have you and your teammates gotten a clear explanation yet about exactly what the new rule change is about not being able to lower the head at all? 
Uh, we usually, during camp, we usually have the officials come in. They come and talk to us and kind of make it more clear. I'll put more clips on the, on the board so we can really get a clear vision of what's going on. So, I mean, there's always going to be changes every year. Um, you know, try to be as healthy as you can and try to play the game safe and also play at a high level. So. TJ, I think you've played against Ryan Tannehill, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah. I, what do you see out here now that he's back as far as mobility, accuracy, arm strength, et cetera? He looks good. He looks good, man. He looks he looks real good right now. His leadership um, is also great um, on and off the field. Um, we're excited to have him back. And, uh, you know, so we're going to keep growing, growing as a group, growing as a team. Um, like I said, his leadership is, is what speaks, is what we, I think we miss the most. And just having him in the locker room and being able to, um, you know, take control of that offense. So. Do you think will this uh, defense be better? I think so. I mean, I think I, I, that's the goal every year. Um, I mean, we want to be the best we can be. And what makes you think that will be the case? We're just hungry. I mean, we're just hungry. We just got a hungry defense. We right now we 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 we're trying to we're met. We're real. Our camaraderie as a, as a group is better than last year. I, I feel like and. Uh, feel like we're growing week by week. We're working a lot harder than we did last year. Not to say we didn't work hard last year, but I, could, I think all the guys can just feel the up and the momentum through practice. The way we're practicing right now, we're setting the standard right now, and I feel like that's gonna that can only pay off in the future. What's going to help this defense create more turnovers this season? Than they do? Run into the ball, get into the ball, more hustle, more energy. Um, Think that that's contagious, you know. What I mean, once you once you get that, that once you set that culture up and you set that standard, get into the ball, playing physical, and and um, you know just being a nasty defense. Once you set that standard, now I think that that energy is contagious, and I think that'll that, that'll help you. What has changed, or I'm sorry, what has changed, or what's different with the new secondary coach? What has changed? I'm sorry, say that again. The new secondary coach, yeah. coach Odin, is he stressing something? communication? Communication is a big thing. Uh, I think that uh, there were some instances last year where we lacked some communication, um, and that's the biggest emphasis that he brings. And uh, you know, so that's what we that's what we're doing right now, making sure that uh, we all communicate. We're all on the same page. We're all making sure that you know we get into a contract with each other on the field um, through verbal communication, hand signs, whatever that is. And um, you know, he 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 does a good job of stressing that. And I think that uh, you know it'll, it'll definitely definitely. Um, Pay off, especially big plays. When you look at the talent that you guys have in the secondary, do you feel like that should have been better last year as a group? Say it again. You, when you look at the talent, the yeah. individual talent that you guys have in the secondary, mm -hmm. do you feel like that should have been better last year? Yeah, I think we gave it too many big plays um, last year, and uh, I guess that's that's the biggest thing that you don't want to do is not let the ball get over your head. Um, I think that um, you know, going into this season, that's a big emphasis for us is don't let the ball get over our head and make plays on the ball when it comes our way. And what's the ceiling for that group now? You guys can get it together this year. And uh, I can't. I, I don't want to put a. I don't, I don't want to put a ceiling on it. I just. I don't know that right now. We just. We're working. We're working hard right now. We're grinding, and uh, we want to be the best. We want to be the best that we can be. We want to be the best out in the league. I mean, that's that's what we want to be, and uh, and that's, that's what we're we're putting the time in right now. TJ, what are the signs to you that the camaraderie is better? Um, I don't know that necessarily. You can. Uh, how to explain it? Uh, it's just a feeling that you get. I mean, I just think that we all. I mean. We are playing. We're all playing for one another. We all. Uh, I think it's just we're all rooting for one another. I think it's just, it seems like it's a closer group. Um, at the same time, demanding the best out, the, the best out of each other, um, and that's started day one. So we just got to keep that up. With, the, with the secondary, you guys are being coached by Ronaldo Hill, who's a former Dolphins player here, recently played in the NFL. What's that like to be coached by somebody who's recently been in the league? I mean, it's good. You get a player perspective in the room. Um, that's always good. Someone who's done it. Um, and so somebody who's been in the same positions that you've been in and uh, you know, looking from the outside in, so that definitely helps. DJ, why has Bobby McCain been effective in the league? I mean, he's, he's a smart player. He's a smart player. He studies. Um, he, you know, he studies and he, he, he's a smart player. He's quick. He's a competitor. And that's the biggest thing is his grit. He's, you know, he's, even though it, with his size, he's got a great heart. And so um, that grit, that energy that he brings, um, it's going to help you help any defense. Is there anything that sets him apart as far as hands, feet, tracking the ball, anything, any traits like that? He's quick. He's quick. I mean, I think that I think he had one of the fastest shuttles coming out in, one of the his, in the history of the combine or something like that. But um, he's quick, and combined with you know his mental approach to the game um, pays off, and that's a lot. How the battle's been going between you guys in the secondary and the tandem? I've been going good, man. I mean, it's like I said, it's still early. We're three practice. We just finished our fourth practice. But, uh, you know, the first couple of days, I felt like, we, uh, you know, the defense got the upper hand. I did a great job today. Um, it's, but we're competing together. You know, we're out competing, so. Does he surprise you at all? 
And he's a good quarterback. It's a little different than what you guys were, were used to going against last year. Uh, I mean, he went through OTAs last year. Um, I mean, so it's about the same thing, but it's just it, 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 like I, it's still early. Um, but he's 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 a great quarterback. I've played against him from both sides now, and being on this side, um, it's definitely I'm definitely glad to have him on this side. You, know, you have to go against a couple more guys. You have to go against a couple of new receivers this year. Amendola Wilson, what stands out for you? Amendola is a savvy guy. Um, he's good off the line with his releases, and he's a he's a tough guy, uh, he's a tough gritty guy. Um, we're glad to have him on this side. Uh, and uh, Albert Wilson is um, another guy that can run. I mean, he can run. He's got great hands. So um, definitely got some good weapons on the other side of the ball. Brock Osweiler, have you, have you played against him, and have you noticed anything about him out here aside from I guess the size of him? Yeah, um, I mean, I, yeah, I played against him um, in the past, and. Um, you know, I've, we've seen him. I've seen him out there and on the field and everything. I mean, he's huge. I played against him in college too. He's, he was at Arizona State, but uh, uh, yeah. So I mean, he's he's definitely had some a lot of games in this league. I um, mean, he's played. You know, he's been a starter in the league before, so he's a good guy to have on this team. One more quick thing on Ryan. Honestly, it's not unusual for offensive players to talk about that he was missed as a leader. Yeah. I found it noteworthy to talk from your side of the ball that he was missed. Does he talk to defensive players much? Is there much? Uh, much conversation. A little more than I think that people think. I mean, he's a competitor too. I mean, he is. You, you sometimes you say something to somebody, or you know, you get talk a little trash about to, to the offense. Get a lot of guys turn around, just walk back to the huddle, but he'll, he'll come back at you, and that's that brings that competitive, you know, spirit that you need just as a defense, not as a team. You know, not just as a defense or offense, but just as a team. He's a good guy to have in the locker room too.